this video today, we are going to discuss the topic on health. And uh, this topic basically is on uh, uh, peptic ulcers. Now you'll find that peptic ulcers are actually on the rise. And uh, it is very important also to realize that there's a relationship between the trend in uh, lifestyle changes and also the thinking, the stress factor within uh, the environment. So we find there's more stress appearing in the environment and uh, similarly uh, you'll also find that uh, people are changing their lifestyles. So some of these things seems to be correlated with the appearance of an increase in uh, peptic ulcers incidences. Now, the word peptic ulcer basically is a word that, a word that has been coined to encompass all the ulcers that occur within the gastrointestinal tract. Normally, I think the normal uh, words which we meet are things like gastric ulcers. Gastric ulcers are ulcers within the stomach walls. And then we also have the duodenal ulcers, which are ulcers found within the, uh, the duodenum. The, uh, at the beginning of the intestinal tract, uh, intestinal the, the system where it connects with the stomach. So you'll find actually, um, I think it is important that uh, you should take charge of your health because health and disease starts with you, not your healthcare providers. Uh, you're the one who can create health back at home and in your office and in your environment or you can create disease in those environments. So when you come and meet your doctor or your healthcare provider, they were not with you in that environment. And normally people hide so many information and facts about the root cause of their problems because they present a very colorful, good picture to their healthcare personnel such that they cannot be able to suspect what caused the problem. Now, I want you to follow me very simply so that we make the whole thing very simple. Now, when you talk about peptic ulcers, there are three things which are very important to understand. One is that your stomach and your intestinal tract has a coating. We call it the mucosal membrane. It's a membrane made of mucus and this membrane it is coated on the stomach and the gastrointestinal wall so that it protects the walls from damage. Yeah. I want you to understand that there are three things because I want you to heal yourself. Yeah. In other words, stop doing what you're doing that is causing a problem. Yeah. There is a mucosal membrane coating the stomach and the intestinal wall and it's supposed to protect the, the walls from any damage. Second thing, we have digestive juices which are produced in the stomach and one of them is hydrochloric acid. So the work of these things is to digest the food that you eat. So you find that the stomach wall then is resistant to that acid and the digestive juices that are secreted because most of the time you don't have those ulcers. It does not burn you. You've understood there are two things. You have the mucosal membrane in your stomach and your intestines and you create juices eh, in the stomach and they contain acid, hydrochloric acid, to help in digesting food. The third thing, when we talk about ulcers, we talk about H. pylori. H. pylori is a bacteria. And this bacteria, when it enters the stomach, it can be able to damage the mucosal membrane and it can also promote 
the trigger, it can trigger excessive production of hydrochloric acid. Three things, start, understand them very well, hmm? where your problem is, so that you can be able to understand what you are supposed to do. Hmm? In your stomach, there's a coating called the mucosal membrane. One, note it. Two, the secretion of digestive juices in your stomach to digest food. And one of them is hydrochloric acid. Three, there's a bacteria called H. pylori. And this bacteria is not supposed to be in your stomach. So if you develop, you have it in your stomach, it normally destroys the mucous membrane and it provokes excessive release of hydrochloric acid which can be able to damage your stomach. Now, that is basics. If you can be able to understand that, you are okay. You should not suffer. So, the next question is, why do you have peptic ulcers? And peptic ulcers will occur when there is damage to the mucosal membrane. So the question is, what is damaging the mucosal membrane in your stomach and in your duodenum? Yeah. Those are questions you ask yourself. Don't wait to go and ask your healthcare provider. You ask yourself at home. Hmm? Because what is going to damage the mucosal membrane, what is going to cause excessive secretion of acid, is right in you are the controller. You are the one who is going to do that, not your healthcare provider. Before you get it, it is you who can prevent it occurring from the first place. So let us look at damage to the mucosal membrane. Now, the damage to the mucosal membrane can occur due to the kind of diet you consume. There's some diets which are acidic. Huh? There's some things like alcohol can cause, can erode the mucosal membrane. And who is drink, drinking the alcohol, not your doctor, it is you who is drinking the alcohol. There is smoking. Smoking has a negative impact on the mucosal membrane. Is your doctor or your healthcare provider smoking in your body? It is you who is smoking. We have soft drinks which are carbonated, which, has, which are acidic. Hmm? Who is drinking them? A liter or two per day? It is you. Hmm? So what happens? It corrodes the mucosal membrane. The kind of foods you are eating, junk food, food with a lot of spices, a lot of preservatives, a lot of uh, things uh, which will destroy the mucosal membrane. Some drugs which you swallow can also destroy the mucosal membrane. And why are you taking those drugs? Possibly again, a disease that you caused by yourself through ignorance. By practicing wrong living and wrong thinking, you created a disease. And when you're in pain, the doctor has to help you. The doctor has to give you some medications to give you relief. And some of those medications have side effects. They also destroy the mucosal membrane. Things such as diclofenac for those with arthritis. You're obese, you've created arthritis in your joints, and then you want those tablets. So you create more complications. So those drugs will destroy the mucosal membrane. You have peptic ulcers or gastric ulcers to be more specific. So H. pylori is a bacteria. And of course, you'll get it. It's sort of some infection. So basically, again, it's your mouth. Something has gone through your mouth which had the bacteria. 
the doctor did not put it there. You put it yourself. You made the choices of what you took. Hmm? So if H. pylori is in your stomach, hmm? Hmm? thinking, stress levels. Hmm? If you know that stress will suppress your immune system, stress provokes the release of excess acid in your stomach, which can destroy your mucosal membrane. Huh? Simple. Undergo stress management. Hmm? Stress will not solve your problems. Simple. Thinking, thinking, thinking negatively will not solve your problem. It will only enhance, create more problems in your health. Hmm? If you've not killed somebody, what's your problem? With your stress, basically, it basically means that your focus is in the wrong direction. If you are looking east, and the east is bringing stress in your body, it is you who has the power to look west. Hmm? Change your life. Change your lifestyle. Change everything about your life. Change your jobs. Change anything that is giving you stress. Change your location. Hmm? It is all up to you. And if you do that, you will not have that stress. You will not stress your stomach. You will not have those peptic ulcers. But when you decide you just put, stay put in a stressful situation, which is resulting into excess release of acid and damaging your mucosal membrane, you continue taking prescription drugs. It is all up to you. You can cure your condition. Don't say it's chronic. You are the one who has become chronic. You are staying in a stressful situation, stressful environment, stressful relationships. That's where the root cause is. A stressful job, which is causing you to get, develop stomach acid and you want to stick there for life. Now, your doctor will not help you, your doctor cannot help you, your doctor will only give you drugs to go and give you symptomatic relief. Hmm? So you want the doctor to give you medication, a tablet you swallow and then you go back to stressful work, stressful uh, locations, stressful life, everything under stress. Hmm? Every problem has a solution. Hmm? Within every problem lies the seed of its solution. Hmm? Every problem you have, even if you've lost a job, within that problem, look for the seed of the solution. There are people who have lost their jobs and have come up even better off. If you look within the environment, why not you? Hmm? Some people in relationships which are just giving them excessive acid secretion in the stomach 24-7 and they stick to it till death do us part. That is wrong, my friend. You will die for that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Simply make a decision and move out. Uh -huh. That is it, simple. Look at your health, health first. Uh -huh. So, that's what I'm saying. There are things you're consuming. Huh? But you say, since you want to consume junk food, you're consuming, you get the ulcers, you go to your doctor, you're taking chips and other things which are destroying your mucosal membrane, and you continue, you want to take them, you take medications. If the pain goes, you continue eating them, taking the sodas, burning your stomach, taking coffee and other things which are destroying your mucosal membrane, drinking alcohol, smoking, take your medications, you say now you feel relieved, you eat them and then you are crying that you want to get healed. Hmm? Wrong living plus wrong thinking is disease, is the one producing your ulcers. So how can you cure your ulcers? Huh? You are looking for a cure. Huh? You want to go anywhere, well, if somebody give you a magic bullet, you swallow and then you go and eat. No, no, my friend. There's genetic variations. Huh? We are told our, bo our bodies, we are differently programmed genetically. Hmm? 
So there's some people who have some genetic weaknesses within the mucosal membranes and so on. Uh, even the acid secretion system. Such that you cannot compare yourself with another person just because another person is taking the acidic drinks, taking the junk food and has no mucosal, has no peptic ulcer. So you want to compare yourself with the other person. Genetically, your friend, look at your thumbprint and look at that person's thumbprint. They are totally different, they are not the same. So you have weaknesses which you have inherited from your forefathers. So simply change your thinking and change what you eat. Hmm? And basically by doing that, hmm, if you do those changes, you will become healed. Hmm? And your conditions will change. Hmm? So the solution is with you. You created the condition knowingly or unknowingly, but since now you are inspired, you are empowered. Simply practice right living and right thinking. That is what you should go and ask your healthcare provider. If you do not know, you are supposed to eat nutritious food, so you are eating junk foods and you can't differentiate junk food and nutritious food. See a nutritionist, they'll give you. If you're under stress, you can. The experts in that, they'll help you in stress management. Thank you very much.